Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome, welcome to Planet Zoo. I certainly hope you're having a brilliant day, a fantastic day, or a bloody good day, wherever you happen to be, because I'm really excited. I'm really excited to be jumping into some Planet Zoo. I've put a couple of hours into this game on a couple of different live streams, and I'm gonna be honest with you, it's adorable. It's absolutely adorable. I love it to bits, and I'm so excited to just share all of that with all of you. So let's just jump into it. We're gonna be playing some challenge mode because it is offline, but with a full economy and challenges. I figure that's probably a little bit better than franchise mode, which is about training your animals online with other people. I've heard some interesting things about franchise mode and I just kind of want to avoid it. So that's why we're doing challenge mode and that's why we're just gonna jump right into it. Let's ignore, <laughs> let's ignore the name of that one. <laughs> let's ignore the name of that, um, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do a new challenge zoo is what we're gonna do. <laughs> all right, all right, we're gonna, do, we're gonna do a new one. And we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and put it in Belfast, which is roughly there. And I don't know what to call it. I think we're just gonna call it like Dork Zoo is what this is gonna be called. So Dork Zoo. It rolls off the tongue like a brick. Dork Zoo. It's great. It's temperate. It's in Europe. Let's just create it and let's play some Planet Zoo. All right, here we are. It actually sort of looks like what Northern Ireland looks like when you fly over it. It's just fields. It's great. All right, let's go right in and let's just figure out what we're doing. I do want to say, I don't know everything there is to know about Planet Zoo. I'm I'm actually quite rusty when it comes to it because of that. And I'm a little, I'll be honest, I'm a little self-conscious about that because I know there's some people that are really, really good at this right now. And I know there's some people that are really good at like the controls and just all the building and stuff like that. So bear with me. This is going to be a little bit of a learning experience. It's been a little while since I played Planet Coaster, which has sort of similar controls and all that stuff. So just, just bear with me. Give me a minute. I'll get there and it'll be great. All right. It, it just might, it might take a minute. Anyway, what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to build just a nice long path that leads like right up here. And I want to put some animals at the end of this path. I want to have like an enclosure, like right, right here. I'm thinking. So, or maybe we could maybe do some shops and stuff there, but we don't have a lot of money. We have $39,700, $39, so we can't go too crazy with, like, enclosures and shops and massive buildings right now. We're going to have to build up to that. So let me just pause the game while we do this, and let's figure out exactly what we need. So we do have some notifications here. We need a workshop, a vet surgery, a trade center, a staff room, research center, quarantine, and keeper hut. Now, we can get all of those done in the facilities tab here. We can go to staff facilities, and there's a bunch of pre-built ones, which, honestly, very tempted to use, but it might be easier for me to not use the pre-built ones and instead just do these versions, the sort of the base building, and then do my own thing around them, which I think is what I'm probably going to do. It seems like that might make a bit more sense. So what we'll do, and the good news is these guys are actually sort of already aligned to my paths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this guy here, which is roughly aligned to my path. And then what I'm going to do is grab the keeper hut small. And it again, it's still lined to my path. And I want to move it to be like out here. Or maybe a little bit further, maybe about there. So keeper hut small can go there. If I grab you and I say I want to move you, it's still aligned to that grid. So we can get these aligned to my grid, but they're not right next to my main path, which is actually really important because the guests don't like to see all of the, you know, all of the, what do you call it? All of the different uh, staff buildings. They don't like to see these things. So having them back there means they're nicely out of the way. So in terms of staff room, let's go ahead and put that thing, I guess it could go sort of there, or it could go maybe there would be an idea. So I think we'll do our staff room right about there. We could do things like the, what else? The quarantine could go next to it. Does it have windows at the back? It doesn't. Does it have windows at all? It doesn't. Okay. So the quarantine could go next to the staff room, I'm, th I'm thinking. It could go there, actually, sort of. A little bit out of the way and tucked away wouldn't be the worst thing in the world it is a little bit expensive though i don't think we need it right off the bat 
so we're not going to bother with it. We will get a research center, though, and I realize I've put a keeper hut in here, and we probably don't want a keeper hut right there. So let me get rid of it. Let me go to research center and put it in that spot instead, because the keeper hut needs to go relatively close to an enclosure. So we'll not bother doing that. We will get a workshop, though, and the workshop, I think, can go... Let me see here. I'm thinking the workshop could maybe just tuck in between these guys, and that might be the way to do things. So we'll do that. We'll put the workshop right in there. And then I guess at some point we can put the veterinary surgery. Actually, we might need a veterinary surgery sooner than later, thinking about it. So let's do that. Let's get the vet in there. And I'm not going to bother with the quarantine right now. The quarantine, honestly, can probably go somewhere else a little bit later on. But these guys can all just sort of sit in this little cluster and they'll be fine out here. We still have 30000 well, $30,500, so we'll not stress too much about it. Let's just go to paths and get these all connected, though. So we'll bring the width of these down to 4 meters, and we're going to want to use staff paths for this, I think. And I think we'll use the dark one, because it'll look kind of interesting. And we can basically just bring this along, kind of like this. We can bring this down, kind of like this, and then a little bit like that. And we should be able to link to each of these doors if i'm not mistaken i'm hoping i'm not wrong here it does look like it'll work uh we'll bring this over a little bit it looks like there's a little bit of a diagonal going on there not really sure why that is not gonna stress too much about it i'm hoping that this guy is actually connected here oh wow it might not be oh that's a bit of a problem okay well that's interesting i guess what we could do is swing this around a little bit and we'll put it back there and that's okay. That's not the end of the world. We can go back to our paths. We can go to here. And I'm hoping that I can actually do this. So go to there. And it's not going to let me connect it. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Maybe. Oh, we can do it that way. So there we go. That, you know, crisis averted. Nothing. You know, it's not the end of the world. It's it's totally fine. Uh, so that's where our staff room is going to go. And what we'll do is just bring this straight through here. And we can take off that little bit of path there. And just square it off and everything should be fine. So that, we're going to surround that with some structure. And we're going to make this thing look a little bit like a, a building or a couple of small buildings. And then I'll put some trees around it. And I'll just make it look like it's actually uh, a facility or something like that. Now, what kind of walls do we want to go for here? That's, that's going to be the big question. So walls, we have a few options. We do have like this, which is definitely a bit weird. I do kind of like it though, so I might use these like these these planks as some kind of facade or something like that. But it does need to be a structure at its core, so we could use the plaster. It might be kind of nice. I don't know if I can change the color of it, but I'm not going to stress too much about it. We could use metal plank walls, which are a little grim looking. Definitely a little grim. I think breeze blocks. I kind of like the uh, I kind of like the look of breeze blocks. They're kind of fun. Yeah, they've got some nice texture to them. So let's go with breeze blocks, and let's. I don't think anyone's ever described breeze blocks as kind of fun. Uh, that might be a world first right there, but that's okay. Anyway, we'll put our windows in here as well. We'll get all that stuff done so that you know staff can I guess see out of this place. I guess we can do something there as well. Then this guy has a couple of windows, and I think that's oh this has windows as well. So we'll do that. Obviously going to need an archway of some sort there, which is totally fine. We'll get ourselves a nice uh, wall there. And I wasn't really planning on this whole thing being one structure, thinking about it. So maybe I don't want to do all of this stuff with uh, a tremendous amount of, of different walls. But we'll figure that out in just a second. Let's just get the door on there, a door on there, and a nice window piece there with some walls going down the side there as well. So we'll do that. Maybe take that bit out. Maybe take that bit out, and maybe take that bit out. And I'm thinking that what I maybe want to do as well is go to this path and just do... Let me see here. I'm hoping I can get this to work. That looks like it's connected. What I was really wanting to do was how I've got this path like going across that way. I wanted to do that here as well. I'm not sure it's going to let me. Which is a little bit frustrating, but... I guess we'll certainly try. We'll do this kind of thing. We'll do that. And then I really hope that's connected. Because what I can do there is it just looks like it 
it, it has that little railing there, you know? It just looks like the, the end part for for all of that. I just don't know if it's actually connected to the staff room or not. I have no idea. So that's going to be, well, it'll be a discovery is what it'll be. I'll tell you what we'll also do. We'll go back into construction here. I'm going to take out these bits of wall and I'm going to say that we're going to do like a little garden thing here. So we can still do some walls around it, but we can put some plants in there and make it nice and make it sort of look like a, a nice little building. And I think we'll do the same here as well some kind of little garden just in front of of what we've got here i think it'll look really nice it'll be you know a way to kind of write the fact that this is a, a staff area and i think we'll bring it down around like this as well so it kind of wraps around really nicely i think that'll look beautiful so let's get ourselves some stuff around these three buildings and then let's start getting some animals in here or at least hopefully getting at least an enclosure of some sort in here That took a little bit longer than planned, but I think it looks okay. It's it's not necessarily done. I do want to put some stuff around it, but I'm not going to do that until we have an enclosure. But that, I think, is a decent little staff area. I think it does the job. It's got everything we need, and it's kind of just off the path a little bit. So I kind of like that. I think it's nice. Let's go ahead and figure out what we're doing for animals, though. So let's have a look at animal trading, and let's see what exactly we can get our hands on. We have aardvarks. We have American buffalo, we have African elephants, which we can't actually get because we'd need some conservation credits to do that. What can we go for then? What's going to be a good first animal to have here? You know, part of me is really tempted by the red pandas, and I'm thinking that we're going to go for them. I'm thinking red pandas might be the right option here. So we have this one. It's the only male that we have. His fertility's fine. His size and all that, it's fine. Then for the females, this one's longevity ain't so good. This one's longevity is worse, but its size is bigger and its fertility's bigger. This one's fertility is awful. Its size, I'm, I'm thinking we go for this one and I'm thinking we go for this one. And then hope that we can get some babbies is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that's what we do. And we can't afford them. We can do, we can use these conservation credits to get two of these guys. 
which I think will be fantastic. So we've got two red pandas. They're all going to be waiting in the trade center. And essentially what we're going to want to do is get them a nice enclosure. So let's go to barriers and let's figure this out. So we can... Oh, this is interesting. So define the perimeter of a habitat where a barrier isn't needed, e.g. a river for animals that can't swim. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm thinking that what we're going to want to do is maybe use some red brick because it's a bit more expensive, but it's not climbable. It's watertight. It's opaque, all that good stuff. And I'm thinking we're probably going to want to try and find like the very middle of the path, which is roughly, uh, roughly there. So if I can try and line this up uh, as best I can, that right there is roughly the middle. And then getting this to line up with the path is going to be slightly tricky. What you can do in this game is you can have... There is a button when you're placing a path to have it align perfectly to an enclosure. There isn't the same thing for walls, though, which is really annoying. I wish there was. I wish I could, like, press... I think it's B. I wish I could press B and have my walls perfectly follow a path here. But I think that will do. It's not too bad. It's not, it's not perfect. It's actually kind of far from it, but I think I can make this work. Yeah, so that's... That's not right. Uh, let's have you go to there. And is that roughly the same in each direction? It is roughly the same in each direction. It's not quite... It's not straight. And it is bugging me that it's not straight. But I think that'll be okay. Uh, I I think. I'm not I'm not 100% sure. Oh. oh, it's bugging me a lot. That That's annoying me so much. It really is. I really, I really want that to be fixed. Um, could I do like... Can I do... I can do curved sections if I really want to which might make this a little bit easier. I'll tell you what we'll do then. Let's go to let's go to here and let's say we want to do like a curved section and I'm thinking we do like a length of 20 meters and I'm thinking we do a length of 20 meters and we go we do this, we do this. This enclosure is going to be quite big, I'm realizing. Possibly a bit too big, but that's that's okay. So something like that. Actually, that seems like a decent size, to be honest. That, that doesn't seem too bad at all. Uh, what we can also do is go ahead and select all of this, because we want to make sure it's all the same height, because it currently isn't. Uh, so bring all of that up to 2 meters. Uh, there we go. So that's all 4.45 meters. Quite expensive, but it's not climbable, and it means we can put some nice big windows in here, and that the animals should be able to, like, have some privacy and all that stuff. So that's good. That's what we want to do. Let's go to paths. Let's go to regular paths. And that's apparently what we're using. Let's make the width of it. Actually, oh, it's already snapping. Fantastic. So let's have it start there and go like this. And let's have it start, let me see, about there and go like this. So it's going to be roughly the same distance across. It, oh, that's not right. Why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? That that didn't seem to lo like it was lined up at all. That's a bit weird. Uh, is this lined up? It looks like... No, that's coming out from the wall as well. That's very strange that it's doing that. Does it do it on this side if I go to, like, length? No. It actually stays pretty close. No, it's... Is it getting closer to the wall? No, I think it stayed the same. Okay, that's, that's a bit weird, but we can make that work. Um, and that seems like it's about the same distance either way. So that's good. And that's the thing I want to do. Uh, I think on this side, I want to try and line it up as well. So that's about right. And then on this side, I want to try and do the same thing as well. I want my paths to basically go the whole way around this enclosure. Not that you're going to be able to see the enclosure from all sides, but I just want to be able to do it anyway. Uh, and then... Now, how are we going to do this? So that's not necessarily going to work the way I would have liked. Okay. Let's turn off angle snapping and see... Let's see what I can do here. I don't think I'm going to get those to be able to uh, to go across. So let's do this, do this, then bring the length up. And that's not right. What about a length of three or two? Nope. Is three the right one? Uh, ugh. I mean, that's okay, I guess. It's it's not the end of the world. We can we can We can live with that. So let's just extend that bit as well. Let's extend that bit. And let's try and get that same weird sort of corner bit going here. So, angle snapping off. And that, I guess. And then these bits are going to have to be slightly different. Because what we're going to have to do is bring this path over. 
And this path is not going to let me go over because it's being blocked by the uh, by the wall. Of course it is. Of course it is. Okay. Well, that's good. I'll tell you what we're going to have to do then. Let me bring all of this out. Just every little bit of it. We'll bring that back. And we're going to have this... We're going to have this line up is what we're going to do. We're going to have this line up with the, uh, with the wall. So from about there, it can go the whole way across. And it's still not in a straight line. How did that happen? I don't understand that. It should be. What if I start, what if I start on this side? No, it's going way out from the wall now. Okay. What is it doing? Why is it doing that? It's going like in such a weird way. What if I start from the middle? Okay, so that is still going like... That's still going at an angle, though. That's not snapping to the wall at all. Okay, so this looks decent. We have our path going around, doing all its thing. We have all of the glass in here so people can see through into the enclosure. We need to go to the zoo option. We need to get some staff. So we're going to need a caretaker. We are going to need a keeper. We are going to need a mechanic kind of expensive to do all this stuff but that's fine we don't really need security we don't need a vet right now although a vet will stop people from getting sick but that's fine we're not gonna not gonna bother with that yet what we're also gonna need to do is get ourselves one of these guys the keeper hut because that's i mentioned we don't need it over there but we do need it kind of close to where the animals are going to be so that's that's kind of why i didn't want to put the keeper hut you know, right over by the rest of the staff facility because it just wouldn't really make sense. But what we could do is line it up roughly there and we could put a keeper hut like out here a little bit. And my thinking is, I mean, people don't really want to see these things. Uh, but what I could do is a keeper hut like, I don't know, there, right? So it's a little bit away from everything. Then just do a staff, staff path that leads right up to it. Not quite like that. Let's bring that width down a little bit. Just do something like that with it. Nice and simple. Staff path goes out to the keeper hut. It's just a little bit away from the enclosure, but it's close enough that it's, you know, directly there. And that should be okay. Now, what we can also do is go to zoo, go to animals, select both of you and move you into this habitat. So that delivery is now scheduled. We can go ahead and we can start running the game. Speed things up a little bit. Our keeper is going to run over and is going to grab a, a box which has... Oh, you are stuck. That's interesting. That's, that's, that's not quite, that's, that's, that's not good. Can I, can I pick you up? Can I move you at all? Is that, is that a thing I can do? Move. There you go. So you go there. There you go. So off he goes to do his thing. We still need to quarantine. We're not going to do that yet, but we're going to have a little tiny, little tiny red panda. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, you are adorable. Look at his little face. Look at his little face. He's not happy to be there, is he? No, he isn't. No, he isn't. All right. So what have we got here? So that keeper huts without power. We'll fix that shortly. So there's a lot of things we need to do with this enclosure here. Animal welfare isn't good. Habitat's not good. Enrichment's not good. So let's start with terrain and let's figure this out. There's a few things we're going to need to change here. So there is not enough short grass. There's way too much long grass, not enough soil, and then rock, sand, and snow are all fine. So Let's go down to terrain. Let's go to painting. And he's going to need more short grass. So what I'm going to do is put a bunch of short grass. Let's bring this size down a little bit. A bunch of short grass right along the front of the enclosure. So just a little something like that. We'll put a bunch of short grass over there as well, just around the around the windows. We'll bring it sort of along the edge there. We'll bring it over this way a little bit too and around that window. And I guess we'll just bring it around the edges of the enclosure in general. So there we go. There is not enough short grass. Which is good. And what I'm thinking we're going to do is put a little bit of soil right here in the middle. Because I'm thinking that's where he's going to have, or these guys are going to have their uh, their little habitat. This is where they're going to live. So a bit of soil in there. Still not quite enough of it, which is fine. We'll do a little bit of heavy soil sort of around the uh, around this bit here. And that should be okay. So just bring up, the, uh, bring up the amount of soil a little bit more. There we go. So that... Is perfect. There's not enough climbable area though, so we'll figure that out in just a second. Because what I also want to do is I do want to raise some of the terrain up a little bit. I think that would be that'd be kind of nice. So we'll do we'll kind of raise these bits up again. This is just going to be 
kind of building up the uh, the livable area for these guys. So raise that up slightly. Raise that all up slightly. Just like this. And that's going to give us some rocks and all that good stuff. Uh, and then what I'd like to do is maybe raise it up a little bit over there as well. Make it a little bit more asymmetrical in just a few spots. And then if we go to flatten the foundation and bring the size down just ever so slightly, we can basically punch a like a, a, a sort of way through there, right? And then we can do this and keep that nice and flat to find out. Okay, that's not quite what I wanted. Uh, but basically, we can flatten across here. And there's like almost a little way through there. It's a, it's a very slight almost, but it's kind of cool. I kind of like it. Let's just push the grind down a little bit there. And then flatten to foundation from that spot. And we should. There we go. We can sort of punch through. It's a little bit, little bit janky looking up there, but... Not the end of the world, I guess. It's definitely definitely a bit strange looking. Smooth that bit. Maybe smooth that bit as well. Smooth some of these bits. And I guess what? I guess I'll just smooth that too. So you're not going to be getting across there, but that's okay. It looks interesting. All right? It looks, it looks kind of interesting. So let's see. There is, again, too much long grass. So let's go to painting and say short grass in... Well, all that space was actually supposed to be soil, wasn't it? So through there can be a bit of soil... Do a bit of like rough soil as well just sort of around here and just get rid of a bunch of that long grass and hopefully cheer the uh the little pandas up a little bit up here gonna be short grass too it was originally gonna be long grass but we'll just do short grass instead and we still need a bit more soil so let's do a little bit just sort of down here on the uh the edges of our raised sections there we go so that should keep them nice and happy uh i'm thinking I like it. I think we can get some nice kind of enclosure in there to keep them keep them happy and let them live somewhere. But we're not done. We need more environment. We need more plants and need more coverage, need all that kind of stuff. They want some temperate plants from Asia. So nature, let's filter. We've got temperate already, but let's go to continent. Let's go to Asia. And we're going to be looking at some climbable stuff. We're going to be wanting elm trees, for example. So what we could do is we give it a nice big elm tree say right about there which makes them really happy that's really really climbable we could do a bit of a smaller elm tree say right about there we could do an absolutely huge elm tree right about i'm thinking say there and that's got them pretty happy and that's all climbable too which is good so if we have a little look at terrain uh we're getting there in terms of climbable area I'm not 100% sure how best to go about that. That's, it's, I mean, I, I don't know. I might, well, do we have to run? There we go. So that's all climbable. So he should be very happy other than enrichment, which is good. These guys don't need much apparently, but I want to give them more. We're not, we're not quite done here yet. I want to give them like a proper little, where do red pandas actually sleep? I don't, I guess they probably, they probably sleep in like trees, right? So we probably, I don't know if we need to give them like, much in the way of sleeping area but i'm i'm wanting to i want to give them like a nice i want this place to be nice for them you know so we'll do that so it's a bit of a different uh different tree there i'd like to do i want to do a few of these i want to do a few different trees around here so that this place just looks kind of interesting because it's going to be pretty boring if it's just like oh here's an enclosure big open field and four trees that's that's not going to be that exciting so I kind of want to go crazy with this, to be honest. I just don't really know what kind of trees would be appropriate. Because I don't want them escaping, right? Like, we don't want... We don't want the pandas getting out of here. So we're going to want to be careful. And I guess just doing a bunch of really dense trees is going to make it a worse viewing experience for... For guests, but... It might make a bit more sense to just do a whole bunch of trees right there in the middle. So the pandas can... Can, uh, can climb around. So I guess that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a bunch of trees, make this place as as great for the red pandas as it can be, and I guess miserable for park, park zoo visitors. Fair enough.
this is up and running. We've got a lot going on in there. I think it looks really cool, honestly. We've got our little red panda just running around doing his thing. He's relatively happy. Although, oh, look at him. Look at him going up the tree. Hello, fella. Hello, fella. Look at you up the, up the branch. I think these people probably. Oh, my God. Speaking of people. Speaking of people. Oh, my God. Okay, people are pretty keen to see the red pan. Oh, you're, you guys are all stuck again. Why do you guys keep getting stuck there? Let me, let me like, move you out of there. Let me move you out of there. Let me move you out of there as well. They don't like that the staff room is far away, apparently. That's interesting. Um, also interesting, I wonder if that, like, now that I've updated the path, is that going to work for them? I do hope so. Anyway, we're getting a second red panda in there. That's going to be beautiful. So, there we go. We've got our two red pandas. Hopefully, they're going to be like BFFs and all that and get us some baby red pandas at some point. That would be amazing. Hopefully, our guests are going to really like the red pandas as well. I'm also thinking we're totally going to need to get ourselves some facilities for the guests. They're going to need bathrooms. They're going to need all sorts of things honestly but i'm just i'm really excited i'm i'm really really excited to see if we can maybe make a little bit of money as well that'd be kind of great you know here's the thing do the lights that i've put in here actually cast i mean is there a lot of light off of them not not really <laughs> is what i'm discovering there's not a whole lot also that path's working which is good so this little light down here has turned out to be absolutely useless so let me, I don't want to move that whole place. I want to edit this whole place and I want to get rid of that little light because there's not a lot of points to it. Is there any other light I could put in here that's actually going to like do the thing I want? What if I did, if I do that, that doesn't really do it either. What if I like, if I move this up and rotate it, I don't know, what way do I want this to go? That way? I mean, that gives off some good light, doesn't it? It's a little strange looking. It is a little strange looking, isn't it? I wonder if I rotate it that way and then do... That's kind of interesting. So it looks like it's almost like an intentional sort of light to illuminate the sign. I kind of dig it. I, I do. I kind of I kind of dig that. It's kind of it's kind of interesting. I wonder if using one of these would be better, though. No, these are very much like sort of spotlight type things, aren't they? It's also not on by the there we go so i mean that works if i was to get like a little connection for it that'd be kind of cool so like bring it out this way do that with it raise it up a little bit i kind of like that let's try and do like a little bit of of funking about here and and see what we can do so we don't really want fences we don't want flags we don't want archways just like general what's this general props okay so we have some rope, we have sign brackets, we have straight rope, we have um, broken umbrellas, we have just umbrellas in general, okay. So what if I was to use, like, okay, that's a bit much, that's a bit big. So that's, that's a bit smaller. Can I get anything that's, like, not huge here? Or, like, just a generic little, like, that's a vine, those, these are, so these are generic shapes, that's not really what I want either. Architecture... There might be something in here, like a little bit of a little bit of wood or something like that. So something like this might do it, I guess. It's not it's not too crazy. We've got some little oh, some massive quarter circles. I don't think we're gonna go with those. I think honestly what we do, we don't want to go corrugated sheets. I think we just use like this little thing. So let me see here. So we are editing the whole building. That's good. Is this going to so that's going to snap right there in the middle, which is where it is. So rotate it that way. Bring it up so it's still nice and central. Uh, rotate it that way. And then rotate it that way again. So it's kind of facing there. Uh, we want to bring this over. And then we want to bring our angle snapping down to, like, I don't know, 15 degrees. Seems pretty solid. So let's do that. And then let's bring it up a little bit. So it's kind of that angle. Uh, which is a bit strange. We'll bring it out a little bit further. And that seems okay. Now we move the light so that it's kind of like nicely at the end of that bit of plastic, which it is. 
which is a little bit far out from the sign, but that's okay. And then at the base of the sign, we need to put something like, like this. So it looks like it's actually got like a bracket, which I think that looks the part, honestly. So lower that down into the sign a little bit. Maybe rotate it around so the box part of it is facing away. I know this thing is a, what is it? It's an exterior switch. So it's, it's not actually a bracket, but it kind of just looks the part, doesn't it? It, it does kind of look the part. So let's go for that. And then maybe what else could we use here? We kind of need something else. Or I guess we could just use another switch. So let's rotate and kind of straighten up a little bit. Sink it into, into there. And just line it up a little bit like, like that maybe? It looks a little silly, doesn't it? Maybe we rotate around again. This is completely unnecessary, but I'm kind of having fun, so it's okay. Uh, so that's that's going to go this way, which again, kind of silly looking, to be totally honest. Maybe we don't do that. Maybe we just lower the whole assembly. So like grab this and just be like, boop, down a little bit, and then just like that. I think that looks okay. I think that does the job. That's our, <laughs> that's our little assembly for for the <laughs> the light fixture which we can actually say is also going to match it so there we go it does slightly annoy me that you can clearly see the the join there though so let me just move this like that i think that's better i think that's pretty good i actually i quite like that let me just make this a bit brighter make sure this is the right color as well which it is i think that looks interesting I do. I think it looks interesting. I'm thinking also... Oh, that's huge. Um, is there anything small I could use as like a little prop here just to, to make this look a little better? It really doesn't look like it, so never mind. I just noticed we have doors and all that stuff. I guess these are, these are decorative doors and all that stuff. And animal doors and windows and all that good stuff yeah i guess that's all that's all like decorative windows and decorative doors and and all that good stuff which is interesting because i guess what i could do is put like a decorative door here so like lower this down a little bit so it's just on the ground and then just slightly sink it into the wall like that so it's kind of a decorative door there's no frame around it or anything it kind of looks a bit weird honestly but that's okay. So do that with it. Got like a door there. We could do like a single door over on this side. So lower that down. So it's just in the ground a little bit. Then just sink it into, into there. And I think it looks interesting. Again, just a little, little something just to make it look like there's more going on than there really is. And then maybe back here could use, I don't know, some kind of like windows or something. So that and that. Can I grab both those and just move them up to there? I totally can. That looks awesome. We could change those out if we wanted to, to be different types of windows, uh, which I think we're probably fine just keeping those up there. Just looks like there's a bit more going on with that building. And then here's fine. I think this side could maybe use the same treatment. A couple of little windows just like up there. I think that looks pretty cool. Okay, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. I think this has been a brilliant, a brilliant start. What do you mean you can't find staff room with accessible space? Hello? What do you mean you can't? Okay, we're fine. They're not complaining anymore. I like that a lot. I think that looks like a really cool little area. We're actually making money, which is brilliant news. Uh, these guys have a bit of water. Let's go ahead and call a, let's call a keeper over here so that we can go ahead and make sure these guys are actually fed because we don't want them starving. There's a keeper in route to that one as well. So this is good. We're making money. We got red pandas. And I mean, we have a big enclosure for them. So the next step, going to be red panda babies and probably get another enclosure or two for a couple of different animals or two. But I love this. I'm really, really happy with this. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this first episode of Planet Zoo. I didn't really expect to be doing so much building, but hopefully it's been okay. It's a little different to the stuff we usually do. We don't usually, like, do time-lapsey stuff on the channel. And I know it's nothing, it's nothing, like, super fancy 
but it was really fun. This was really fun to put together. So I think, you know, leave some ideas in the comments below for what animals you'd like me to build enclosures for next. I'm not promising they're going to be anything fancy, like I said, because we don't have a lot of money to spend. But later down the line, when we're making, like, tons and tons of money. Oh, Zeus is visiting. Hello. How are you doing? Where is he? There he is. That lanky, tall Australian. He's really tall. Is that like Zeus is Zeus is really tall. He's like one of the tallest people I know. So that that's yeah, just just letting you know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. It really has been my absolute pleasure. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.